Hi, my name is Earl Mitchell Craig Jr. I'm 64 years old. I've uh, moved to Wilmington four years ago. I retired from uh, being a master cosmetologist for four, over 40 years, and I decided to move here for the proximity of the ocean, the certainly the warmer weather, and the southern gentry of the south, which they do have here in Wilmington. Beautiful beaches. And there's a little bit of nightlife for me. Uh, there is a place called Costello's, it's a piano bar, and there's two people that play on the second and fourth Fridays of the month. And I go there if they're playing, and I really pleasure. Um, so for the first year I was down here, I did the beach thing, it was spring, I moved here in April, I was, did the spring thing, then I went to the beaches in April I couldn't, and got in the water in by May, and to me that's my happy place, is in the deep waters of the ocean, I swim like a fish. Um, but then winter set in and I started to isolate, and that's not healthy for anybody. Least of all gay people, or anyone for that matter. Um, so I started volunteering. Uh, I now uh, represent NAMI uh, in our own voice. I do presentations. Uh, and I also work on crisis intervention team panelists um, for Brunswick and New Hanover County. And I'm a North Carolina peer support specialist, certified peer support specialist. Uh, and it's giving back of myself is just one of the greatest gifts uh, you feel so, uh, it's been therapeutic even. And when I was given, and when I was given this opportunity to speak for SAGE and for gay people over 50, I jumped at the chance because I've lived with stigma my entire life. As a child, if you're going to be a grandparent or someone listening who is maybe thinking about having a family, do not name your male child Earl because I was teased relentlessly. Also, I was very small and petite as a child. I cried a lot because I was so alone and felt so different. And I've known since a very early age that I liked, I was a homosexual. But if living it in the 50s and the 60s and the early 70s, that wasn't something you came out about. And it wasn't until I was 20, they say you have a little fire, a candle burning in your closet. It's kind of like your secret sexuality. Well, mine was, I had a flash fire and I came out screaming. And I just had the best, had the best time because I found out I was not the only one that didn't want to wear a dress. Uh, just recently, I was given an award, uh, totally unexpected, for my efforts in helping to remove stigma. And stigma comes in all forms and shapes and sizes. Uh, it's not just homosexuality but I'm an advocate, my cards read, Community Advocate Against Stigma, and I won this award. And it means, not a, very, it means a lot to me, because um, it was totally unexpected, but at least my efforts were recognized. Um, so I was very proud to receive this, and any opportunity that I can to help others not isolate, and not because of stigma, it's not healthy. Stigma hurts. So does teasing and bullying. It's all stigma. It just hurts. So we shouldn't isolate. We should come out and be counted because we're all good people. And I always relate to the word queer. I don't understand why the gay and lesbian community, we separate ourselves. I think we all should be queer or homosexual because if you look up the word queer in the dictionary, it describes everybody I know and care about, but it says nothing about their sexuality, which should not be an issue, especially in this day and age. When I was growing up, it definitely was an issue, as probably most of you out there who are over 50 have experienced. It's horrible. It's time for, for us to come out of the closet again and get back and be counted. Just because you're over 50 doesn't mean you don't have a life. I'm 64 and I'm having the time of my life and keeping myself busy